Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to start with differentiation under integral sign. It is also known as DUIS. So what is this? Here we have to find some integration. But here the method to find integration is very different. If our integration is something i equal to integration a to b f of x comma a into dx f of x comma alpha into dx. So this is our integration and we have to solve this integration. In differentiation under integral sign what we can do we can find di by d alpha that is we will differentiate this f of x comma alpha with respect to alpha. So we will get partial derivative of with respect to alpha f of x comma alpha and we will integrate a to b into dx. Then from this when we solve this equation we will get di upon d alpha equal to some function. Then again we will integrate we will get i. So this method when we first take the partial derivative of function it is known as differentiation. Since we are taking under integral sign therefore it is called as differentiation under integral sign. So we can solve this integration if it satisfies some condition. So if the function under integral sign, so this is function under integral sign, if it satisfy some conditions, then only we can solve this problem or else we have to solve from traditional method. So if f of x comma alpha is continuous function of x and alpha and if partial derivative is also a continuous function of f of x and alpha, then only we can solve in this way. This will be more clear when we see the problem on this. So let's take first problem. Prove that integration 0 to 1 x raised to alpha minus 1 log of x dx is nothing but log of 1 plus alpha. So we have to prove this. So let's say we will let's say we will call this term as i. So i of alpha is equal to integration of 0 to 1 x raised to alpha minus 1 log x dx. Now I am taking derivative on both the side with respect to alpha. So I will get di upon d alpha integration 0 to 1 and I am taking derivative with respect to alpha. Since I am taking derivative with respect to alpha our log x will remain constant. So it will be derived by partial derivative with respect to alpha x raised to alpha minus 1 into dx. So we will get integration 0 to 1. 1 upon log x what is the derivative of a raised to x where variable is x it is nothing but a raised to x log of a similarly in this case our alpha is variable and x is constant because we are derivative with respect to alpha so it will be x raised to alpha log of constant constant is x into dx so now log x log x will get cancelled we will have integration 0 to 1 x raised to alpha into dx 